Saskatchewan's Court of Appeal is hearing arguments today about the provincial government's controversial youth pronoun law. The law requires parental consent when children want to change their names or pronouns at school. The CBC's Alexander Silberman is at the courthouse in Regina with the latest. Jacqueline, the policy at the center of this court battle is the Saskatchewan Parents' Bill of Rights. It requires parental consent before a child under the age of 16 can use a different gender-related name or pronouns in school. It's been controversial since the start. LGBTQ advocates say this infringes on the rights of youth, while the provincial government says this is about putting parents at the forefront of these important life decisions. Now, back at the start of this policy, You Are Pride, a local LGBTQ advocacy group, launched a legal challenge. And in response, we saw the Saskatchewan government go ahead and make this policy, which was a school policy, a law, invoking the notwithstanding clause to protect it against charter challenges. Now, You Are Pride amended its legal challenge and in February we had a ruling from a Saskatchewan judge who ruled that even with the notwithstanding clause this can still be tested in court. The Saskatchewan government appealing that today the first of two days of hearings here at the Court of Appeal. Now Agal Canada, a national LGBTQ advocacy group, they're representing You Are Pride in court today and they say even with the notwithstanding clause the court still has a role to play here. Most parents will be able to support their children through the experience of coming out as gay or trans or, you know, a queer. Um, some parents won't, and that's, those are the kids we're worried about. So I hope that there can be, that at minimum this case can breed um, greater understanding and sensitivity across the population about what we're really talking about here, which is just creating a society where all young people can go to school and be accepted for who they are. We can expect to hear more arguments from Agal Canada this afternoon as they start to make their case. We're also going to hear from some of the many interveners in this case. There's 11 of them. It's a legal battle that has drawn significant attention right across the country. Right. And so other provincial governments are keeping a close eye on this, Alexander. That's right, Jacqueline. Two of those many interveners are the Alberta and New Brunswick provincial governments. New Brunswick watching this because they have a similar policy of their own, Policy 713, which also has restrictions that requires parental consent uh, in situations where students want to use different pronouns or gender-related name. Um, they're also facing a legal challenge as well, so watching what happens here to see if there's any precedent. Now, we know Alberta is planning to roll out similar legislation this fall, so they're also an intervener. What happens here in the Saskatchewan Court of Appeal could have an impact on what happens in other provinces. Jacqueline? That's the CBC's Alexander Silberman in Regina.